Hey, what's up guys? See you boys, Pilot2K7, and I'm back for a brand new Granite Photo 5 real life mod video. Today, we're at the second location for our tow company, Ace Towing. As you guys know, we do have two locations. We have our city location, and then we have our county location. So, we're out here in the county. We actually got a report of a very big motor vehicle accident earlier today involving a rolled over semi truck, I believe, and trailer. Our city location did dispatch the Peterbilt wrecker as well as a roadside assistant truck. So we have two people on scene and two pieces of equipment on scene. But they just updated us and told us that they are not going to be able to uh, recover the trailer with just the Peterbilt. So what we're going to do is go grab the Kenworth heavy duty wrecker. That way the Peterbilt and the Kenworth can work together and flip the truck back over and get it back onto the road. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right, here's the Kenworth. All right, let's make sure it's ready to go. Lights are working. Okay, guys, so we are good to go. Now let's try to make our way towards the uh, accident scene. Alright, so we have about three miles of travel time and it will be on scene. Alright guys, let's roll. turn off our lights. I actually forgot I turned them on. I just meant to test them at first. Okay, so so far guys, we don't have too much information. Like I said, we do have two units on scene, so we're going to try to get over there and see if we can recover this semi-truck. I'm not sure how badly it's flipped over. Not sure if it's loaded or not, or how heavy it is loaded. So again, we're gonna have to figure out all that stuff once we get on scene. Now, if you guys do enjoy this episode, do me a favor, make sure you guys go ahead and smash this like button. I know you guys really did enjoy the uh, first video we did on Sunday when we showed off all of the new Ace Towing skins. So if you guys did not see that video, with all of the new skins and all of the new trucks definitely go back and check out that video it was really good I'll link it up here in the top right as a card and I'll also throw it down below in the video description and also in Monday's episode we had a we had CHP call us out to impound two different vehicles that were street racing so make sure you guys check out that episode as well All right, so this accident is gonna be on US Route 11. Uh, we haven't really been over there in a while, so interested to see how exactly this guy crashed and what he crashed into. That last sign just said the speed limit is 60, and this person is going about 10 miles per hour. This is ridiculous. Alright, it should be just up ahead. Oh, all these slow drivers today. Come on, guys. Okay, so we are now on US Route 11. Thank God he turned.
Okay, it should be right here somewhere. Alright guys, looks like we are on scene. And it looks like CHP has the road shut down for us. Let's go ahead and turn on our emergency lights. And I think I'm going to go ahead and back in. Alright, so let's back in, let's talk to the other guys, and then let's go ahead and come up with a game plan. Now, while we do have both of these awesome tow trucks um, on scene, I do want to give a huge shout out to one of my good friends. His name is Bad Customs. He's actually actually the creator of both of these trucks. He made the Peterbilt first, which was a private model, and you guys loved it so much, he came back and made the Kenworth for you guys, which is a public model, and link is in the description for that. If you guys would like to check him out, he does cool modding videos. He has a real life series where he has like a really good construction series going and some really custom mods that you guys will not find on any other channel. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out Bagged. I'll link him in the top right and I'll also throw his um, his YouTube link in the video description down below. So go check out Bag Customs, subscribe to his channel and check out his videos. Okay, so let's get back to the video. So as I was saying, we have both trucks on scene and this is actually the first time that both trucks are working together. So really quickly, take a look at this. We have Heavy 2 on the license plate and then if we look at this one over here since this was our first heavy this is heavy one so that, i figured it'll be a cool thing to do but anyway let's go ahead and talk to the guys and um see how we're gonna use these trucks and get this uh semi truck and trailer back up what's up guys Oh, they already started rigging it perfect perfect so they already started rigging it with lines and um equipment from this truck which is awesome so what we're gonna have to do is use both trucks uh we'll use the kenworth to try to pull the semi get it back on the road and then we'll use the peterbilt to hold and keep the trailer steady and get the trailer back on the road now do we know if this trailer is loaded guys it is. You guys know how heavy it is? Did you, were you guys able to t talk to the driver? No? Okay, so ha, that's going to be a little bit tricky. Now, in a lot of situations, what we would do, uh, what I notice in real life with real life tow companies, they would unload these trailers first, but this is just in a terrible position. It's about to go into this little stream here, and there's no way we could really unload this. So. We're going to have to muscle up, guys, and just try to pull this thing over. But I think we should be good, though. It should be okay. It is a 53-foot trailer, but I think we can handle it. So they're going to go ahead and finish up the rig in, and we're, I'm going to go ahead and get both trucks into position. So let's jump in the kin. Let's go ahead and put that down. And let's see how we're gonna do this, guys. I'm thinking we're gonna have to probably run a couple lines, but I'm thinking we're gonna want to pull it straight up, possibly. This is when a rotator would come in handy, but unfortunately, we don't have a rotator yet. I did put an order in for one. But you guys know these things takes a little while to be built. You know, you gotta uh, get the chassis ready. They gotta do all the custom work. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. I think we should be able to set up okay here. Yeah, I think this should work. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and drop our uh, outriggers slash supporters. So we're gonna go to here and that should help keep us stable. You know what? I think, yeah, I think we should be okay. All right. So I'm going to let them start getting that one hooked up. Let me check the Peterbilt and see how we're going to run this. So we'll have one line here. We could get two. So we could get one to the front of the semi. And then probably have to get a second one to the uh, drive shafts over here. Or the axes, I should say, so we could pull this up. 
Like I said, if we had a rotator, this would be much easier because we could just probably pick it all up and swing it over, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that. So the second one, we're going to have to... We're just going to have to attach probably over here and maybe get another attach point up high and put the boom up and try to just lift it over. So let's go ahead and get this one into a better position and we'll attempt this lift. Okay, so here should do it. Let's go ahead and put the outriggers down on this. And we'll go ahead and get everything attached up now. So, this is going to be the tricky part. We're going to have to try to pull them both at the same time, which is going to be tricky. Now, due to GTA limitations, I can only pull one at a time. Um, but we're just going to roleplay that. We're pulling up the whole trailer at once. So, it looks like they're about done with the outrigging. Let me take another look at this, guys. I forgot to put on my hard hat, too. Alright. Uh, what is holding this thing up? So, the rear, the rear of the trailer is being held up by that tree. So, I'm thinking maybe we'll, uh, we'll pull... I don't know what we should do first. I think it'll be easier to pull it straight up the hill. So we're going to try to pull this semi, I don't know, like I said, we're going to have to do both at the same time, but let's just try it and see what happens. So you guys ready? Okay, guys, so we have everything attached. As you can see, we have a line from the Kenworth to the uh, truck. And like I said, just due to limitations, I can only do one at a time, but just role play. We got two lines over here and we have two lines coming off of that truck. So let's go ahead and prepare to start pull in everybody's ready okay here we go guys okay we're winding we're winding we're winding up oh, it's budging a little bit it's budging you guys see it shaking okay so that's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought it did move a little bit let's see if we could pull the uh, the trailer up a bit Hey guys, so unfortunately the winch does not want to work properly. It worked yesterday too in yesterday's episode. We were able to winch something up. Alright, so change of plans. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to be a little bit unrealistic, but we're going to have to kind of pull it by driving forward. So do apologize about that. Okay, so what we're going to do, since that wasn't working, we're going to have to be a little bit unrealistic and try to pull this thing up. So we're going to attach to it about right there. And let's see if we can get this up, guys. Okay. Peterbilt is holding the trailer. It's going to be tight. I'm going to try again and see if it wants to work. Let's see. Nope, it's not working. All right, so I'll just pull it all the way. Oh, we're about to lose that in. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's switch to the Peterbilt now. And let's try to get the trailer up a little bit. We got the semi mostly on. Yeah, so let's try to get the trailer up now. Okay guys, so we're now in the Peterbilt, and let's see if we could pull this side up without this whole thing flipping over. Oh, it's going to be close. Okay. Alright, it looks like it wants to flip, so what we're going to do... Let's switch back again and let's try to pull this the rest of the way rest of the way up.
Yeah, we're actually slipping. <laughs> I'm not even doing this on purpose. Okay. Got it most of the way. We just got to get the rear end over that hill and we are good. move this guy over a little bit we don't want anybody to get hurt in case these cables snaps all right I think that should be enough right there let's go ahead and take a look should be able to pull it all the way with the uh, Kenworth the rest of the way. I'm really impressed with both trucks. Both trucks did a great job. And, well, really, dude? <laughs> we are completely on the road. Okay, so let's inspect the truck and trailer and see if we're going to be able to transport them together. Or if we got to get a um, like another truck out to put this on top of like a flatbed or something. The trailer. Let's inspect it. It doesn't appear to be damaged, so we may be able to just transport it just like this. But like I said, we're going to do an inspection first and see. Alright, good job guys, good job. So check the trailer out, and um, let me know if it's going to be safe to transport as one, or if we're going to have to transport it as two. got the Kenworth on the <laughs> we got the Kenworth on the Kenworth we have it lifted up we just gotta go ahead and start chaining it down get our breakaway chains our safety chains and then we should be good to go all right so they're gonna go ahead and start doing everything damn we got this thing up pretty high in the air I didn't realize we had it that high so he's throwing over all of the chains How's the trailer looking? It's good to be transported? Okay, so he said we're going to be able to take it as one. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done here. We'll send the Peterbilt back to the city. And you know what? We'll take this to the county lot since we have a little bit more space at the uh, county lot. We could take this to the city. We could have let the Peterbilt take it, but we the city is like kind of cramped over there. So we'll take this out to the county. Plus, we're technically in Los Santos County anyways, so we'll just take this to the county. We're kind of in between both shops, honestly. Let's see. Which shop is closer? Hey, yeah, we're kind of in between. We got 2.6 to go to the city, and I think it's about 3 miles to go back to the county. Yeah, we'll take it to the county, though. Even though it's farther, we'll take it there. Most of our calls are in the city anyway, so I like to try to keep the Peterbilt available. So it looks like they are done. So let's go ahead and lower the boom a little bit and pull forward. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and lower that down. And we should be good to go now, guys. So let's start. Pulling this thing out. Alright, so we are good to go. So we go ahead and get the road opened up. Alright. So it looks like we are good. I'm going to go ahead and let my guys know they can head back to the city. Uh, we'll let CHP know they can open up the road. Alright, we appreciate it. Thank you guys. We got the scene cleaned up. Thank you for the call. Alright, so I'm just going to get my two trucks out the road and then you guys are good. Alright, I'm actually looking forward to using this roadside assistant truck soon. Alright guys, we good. I'll see ya.
moment. So we are looking good, guys. We are looking good. So that was our first job we had to do, and we had to use two different uh, trucks, two different heavy-duty trucks. So that was pretty cool. Like I was saying, one day we'll get a rotator in the game, and that will probably make our life a little bit easier. But until then, on jobs like this, it's just better to be safe than sorry, and use two trucks when necessary. He's gonna stop right in front of us and turn off my lights. Come on, you could go. Somebody go. So let me know guys, how do you guys think we did today? How did we handle the situation? Did we do a good job? Let me know in the comments section. Did you guys enjoy? The episode if you did make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button also leave some comments and let me know any other ideas you guys have also if you're new around here make sure you guys subscribe turn on post notifications like I said in the beginning we're gonna be having new videos every single day so if you guys do not want to miss it definitely subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so I got about two more miles to go and we'll be back at the shop but I think overall we did well. I, I really wish wish the uh, winch worked today. Uh, like I was saying, it worked in yesterday's episode when we were winching up the Evo, but today it just did not want to work. I think it has to do with the vehicle, how heavy it is that we're trying to like pull, you know? So maybe the truck was just too heavy for the winch to pull up. Oh man, I thought he was going to turn. <laughs> Whew. Got a lot of weight going uphill right now. All right, one mile to go, and we are back at the shop, guys. Trying to put the arm down, but it seems like it got stuck up. We'll fix it when we stop. We should have enough space to park this thing in the front of the lot. That would be the safest place to put it since the rear has that like big drop I was talking about yesterday. We are 
are here, guys. We made it. Alright, so what we're gonna do, since we don't have much space inside, let's actually release this trailer and I'm gonna use one of my trucks to bring it in. Alright, so we're gonna release that. And what we'll, what we'll do, if you guys remember the small Peterbilt with the single axle, or the single uh, axle of rear wheels, we'll use that to bring the trailer in. It's kind of tricky to do that U-turn back there on the on the sand, but it's a little bit better right here since we have the concrete. So let's back this thing on up, and we'll put it in the backyard. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want to make my truck get stuck down there, so I'm just gonna lower it down, and we'll uh. We'll come back and park it up later. So let's go ahead and park this one up. Alright, and another successful tow for heavy number two. So let's see, what else we gotta do around this shop? Uh, oh yeah, I gotta bring the trailer in. I was about to say, who the heck took the trailer? Right. So let's head over here and let's take the Peterbilt out. Alright, so like I was saying, this little Peterbilt here, this is a good truck to use around the shop. Especially whenever we have to move trailers around since it only has one set of wheels or one axle. Um, kind of gives us a better turning radius in our shop since we are limited on space. Perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna park this up over here until we figure out what they want to do with it. You know what? Let's take it to the rear yard, actually. Yeah, we're gonna put it in the rear yard. Reason being, I want to keep the front kind of clear. Alright, so so far guys, we have two vehicles and one trailer, and we gotta figure out what's gonna happen with all these vehicles. For now, we're just gonna park them all up. So I'm gonna put this in the corner, and I'll probably put the trailer in the other corner. Now again, if you missed yesterday's episode, make sure you check it out to see how we got this awesome Mitsubishi Evo. It's not ours, but it's impounded right now, so I guess when the person gets out of jail, they could come get it or whatever, however that works. 
All right, let's park this trail up as well. We'll uh, talk to the company and see what they want to do with the trailer. I'm not sure if it's going to, I mean, it still seems to be okay. So I don't think they're going to total it, but who knows. Trying to get a little bit closer to that wall so it's not taking up too much space. Alright, that's going to be close enough. I wanted to get it closer, but... Oh! I don't want to stay here all day with that. Alright, so let's get this back to the front. All right, guys, I think we are done for today. Everything worked out. We were able to recover the vehicles. Got more, more vehicles in our tow yard now, so that's more storage fees we're going to be uh, charging and making. We're currently storing two vehicles from yesterday, the semi-truck and the trailer. So we're, we should be making some good money on all of those. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, if you enjoyed, make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave some comments. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Join the notification squad by hitting the bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.